This is Soft Cubes, and we're doing Doki Doki Literature Club with Bert, Chris, and George. All right, and, and George. This is not you. <laughs> Who's this? One of the main characters. Haley said yeah. she's also here. And Haley in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. That's not. I didn't make her go to the kitchen. You're the best friend. Go. Who's the, is this me? Yeah. Am I the best friend? What do they look like? I, don't, I want to know. You'll find out. When, it's a girl. I can tell you that. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> this is like I, the only main characters are a dude and four girls at this point that I've seen. <laughs> what is Doki Doki Literature Club? It's, it's a dating sim, it's but no dudes scenario. in this one. <laughs> it, it doesn't have to date dad. It's different. There's gonna be a hook though, isn't there? Oh yeah, there's a hook. <laughs> Alright, go. Hey! Oops. Is that still me? Who's reading? Oh, yeah, this, oh, is, this now is George. Old. George, you're gonna read all I the I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were enough. children. Oh, me and you, George, best friends. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? <laughs> was there a question mark at the end of that? <laughs> you know, it's not <laughs> We used to walk Damn to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, we, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. Anybody put a question mark on the teleprompter? <laughs> but she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. Hey, Do man, it. come on. <laughs> just fuck off. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Thanks, mate. There she is. Is that me? Yep. <sighs> Overslept again. But I caught you this time. That's Bert. Oh. <laughs> okay, you called Bert. Apparently you did get a name and it's just <laughs> keeping the same name. <laughs> you, George, you're Bert. <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah, I will say I played the first half hour of this. I didn't learn much. That's mean, Bert. You're <laughs> 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 fucking destroyed in this. Well, if some people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> oh, come on, George. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice and creepy. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. No. As we draw nice. near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Bert, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? That's still it's you. Bert. <laughs> I, told <laughs> you look for Bert. I told you, I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Why not? It's like a loser. I haven't been looking either. Ah, that's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. I did? Sure, it's... Oh, that's not my I'm name. sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Fucking... Sayori likes, the, likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I have no idea what, what that is, is, but it neat. sounds offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Punch her in the face. <laughs> Only we can use that word. <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises, though. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Oh, it is me. More than that, I'm surprised I even I even let myself relent to her. Uh -huh. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. <clears throat> Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Yeah. <laughs> I look around and realise that I'm the only one left in the classroom. That's lucky you look like a freak. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You didn't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. Oh! Hey! 
Yeah, you meanie. Sarah is vice president of the literature club. Oh, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. There you go. <laughs> in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Yeah, this is my me. club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. <laughs> Sweet. Jesus. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> Does that really sound like you just like Default. didn't really Default. try? Default. <laughs> it's like yeah, you know, you're that guy now. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Oh come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> These little laughs. Don't head. make promises you can't keep. I let out a long sigh. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay? <laughs> yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Sayori, like... full of energy, swings open the door, open the classroom door. She opens the door. <laughs> the door is open. Everyone, the new member's here. Oh, fuck. I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> we can use that word. <laughs> I glance around the room. <coughs> oh, girl one, is that you? Guess I'll be me now. Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Say hi. It says nice things about you. Oh, is it? <laughs> She's going for puberty. You can be girl too, I guess. Then. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, Bert, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Good work, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls! I may have changed my mind! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! S sorry Natsuki! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... Is, is that me? Yeah, Am I Natsuki? Natsuki. <laughs> you made the cupcakes! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. Okay, so I'm Natsuki and... No. Uh, sa more... say Sayori? Sayori. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <laughs> Don't say things like that! You didn't sound the smartest in the club. <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to leave, have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh... Well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Bert. Oh, this is weird. You guys have got a history. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we, re we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. Oh, Bert. So <laughs> having her smile at me generally feels a little... Yeah. You too, Monica. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? I'm gonna change this. Yuri's voice suddenly dropped. <laughs> <laughs> the balls must have come through. <laughs> yeah, so it's puberty. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Is Sayori it mentioned, table? it's been widened <laughs> so there's up. one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Ooh, oh, oh is this your first choice? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room <laughs> where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Okay. Four, four. <laughs> Still feeling She's awkward. She's getting the whips and chains. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay. Are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate we use to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori so grabs <laughs> one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori so walks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. That sounds like me. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Do you like it? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Eat it. I finally bite down. Put it in your mouth. The icing is sweet and, fl and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. I did make it. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. You just not listen. Thank anything. you, Natsuki. <laughs> Typical man, never listens. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I made them for you or anything. 
I thought you technically did, Whoops. so I already said... Oh, maybe, but not for y you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> like, Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. Oh, oh, I got that from the closet. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole <laughs> tea set in this classroom? Just because you're on the screen. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I... I, I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> eh? I, that's not it. I meant that, you know... How come both of the chicks at Birdies have got the biggest cans in the world? Big ol' okay. big ol' big ol' <laughs> <laughs> I got experience. <laughs> I believe you. Well, tea and reading, it, and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's such a dismissive kind of like. Hey, I don't like any other shit you're into, but tea's kind of alright. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like tea or, or reading, but tea's okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature tech I <laughs> <laughs> That was pure English, man. <laughs> um, Japanese literature. Oh, there was more of this question. Just literally just done. Something tells me I should tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Don't tell that. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Click. <laughs> oh, make sure you feel right at home. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead still you. Oh, fuck! <laughs> As president of the literature club, it's... My duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. You sound like my daughter from Drink Daddy. I know, I'm trying to get away from it, I can't. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. <laughs> Sounds oh. like it. <laughs> How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Yeah, into this minor league. Were you the know? leader of the debate club last year? Uh -huh. Well, you know. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the club, major clubs. Whatever. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather be taught. I'd rather try to something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. And if it encourages <laughs> others to get in the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be so, must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brave, brand new. And they say brave new. <laughs> I think Bert's having a stroke. Especially when it's stroke. something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. I said it right that time. Literature. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Boo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our best. <laughs> He sounds like such a man! You know it! Someone had to. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. You had to be the tallest one there, too. <laughs> such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Two of them sound like dudes. Monica <laughs> must have worked really hard just to find these three. I mean, not really hard to find one of them. <laughs> yeah. just like, I just want to be happen. part of something new. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. So, uh, Bert, what kind of things do you like to read? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> good luck. Good luck keeping that going for the rest of the fucking. Oh my, I got it. Considering how little I. Did you just change the voice of you? Isn't, isn't oh, the narration sorry, sorry. voice gonna be your yeah. voice? No, 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 alright, so. Narration voice is this voice, alright. This is gonna be so fucking. We got this. We got this. Considering how little loud. I've read these past True. few years, I really. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. That's what his head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Oh, I bet. Like My favourites are <laughs> usually <laughs> novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. I don't change it to fucking your <laughs> The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. To God me. damn it, I'm fucking... It's amazing to me. <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but obvious by her way she, her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. Yeah, fuck people. <laughs> Do you know? I, I, but you know, I like a lot of things. <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements <clears throat> usually immerse me as well. You know, <laughs> stuff. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. That was a bit different, but close enough. Oh, why yeah, is that? Me. Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. <laughs> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last in the club meeting. Don't read me personal notes, you bitch. <laughs> It looked like you were working on a porn called- I thought it said porn when I first read it. <laughs> Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine. Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are! So Yuri sidles up between Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems. Yeah, well I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? No! You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a not very confident writer yet. I understand how that, that Suki feels. I forgot her name for a second there, even though it's on the screen. <laughs> Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to <clears throat> oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I'm getting a tit out once in a while. <laughs> Do you have a do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Hers. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't sound like a fucking noise at all. I guess it's I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. You fucking snoopy little bitch. <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. <laughs> well, things got awkward. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own! Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even! Um... <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club! Isn't that right, Bert? <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. <laughs> Still one problem. And what's that? Sarah might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made up it. Never made any decision. <laughs> so blunt. <laughs> I still have other clubs to look at. And, um... I like how, like, three of them are already ready for this. This one is about to change. Woo! <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. I, I'm... I'm defenseless against these girls. <laughs> My How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision <laughs> when it's like this? That's it. That's that is. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, oh, thank you. Right. Oh, okay. I've decided then. <laughs> I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. It's changed again. <laughs> oh, no, I can't keep one voice down for her. <laughs> and that makes it official! Oh, oh yeah. thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment! Fucking what? <laughs> Homework? Write a poem to bring oh, to the next God. meeting so we can all share. But... I look forward to seeing how you express yourself! <laughs> Ski dick. <laughs> Can you dick out at the next meeting? Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I'm already feel the I already feel the anxiety like welling up inside me. Hey, Bert, since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? 
That's right. Sayuru and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Uh -huh. Maybe you're stuck with me because you're in my club. <laughs> sure. Might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? <laughs> no. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> Nerd. Here comes the first choice. You have to write a poem. It's okay. time to write a poem. Let's write a poem. So, uh, I think the poem's gonna go Lollipop, Heaven Sent, Swimsuit, <laughs> Treasure, No Kitty, Contamination, <laughs> Sadness, No Parents, <laughs> Sad <laughs> yeah, Sadness, Sca uh, Love, oh, Kawaii. Wow. Kawaii. Yeah. This is Japan. Landscape, Violations, yeah. Socks, Together, Warm. Together, warm. Together, warm. Together warm. Bed. <laughs> Raindrops. Uh, Infinite. <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> vanilla grief. Vanilla grief. Poof. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think it's poof. <laughs> <laughs> it's poof. Poof. Uh, marshmallow. Massacre, yes. <laughs> marshmallow massacre. Marshmallow massacre. Uh, un the uncanny. Uncanny? Yeah! Oh, the candy. Candy. <laughs> Jesus! It's the dopest poem. <laughs> Soft Tubes has merch! We got mugs! We got shirts! We got other things! Go to redbubble.com and search for soft tubes right now and you can get all our awesome merch. Buy it!